Right. Hello, Internet. Mike Berlin here, and I'm going to put together some models. Um, just going to assemble some today, but I've got some new model kits. Um, these are from Masterbox Limited. I'll see if I can show you here. All right. So this, I got four separate kits, um, which today I'm going to start putting them together. Um, and in a future video, I'm going to paint them and all that. Um, these are all going to be put together into a diorama. So you see that. Um, I'm going to be gluing them with, try to get as, this is all, it's quite a bit left in this, so my testers, so I glue. So, just going to get going. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to just kind of speed through this, but if I do, then I'm going to speed through it. Um, when I was sent these, I was, they were not, the box was not closed in any fashion. Um, I don't believe that was the, because of the manufacturer. I think this was the person who sold them. Because inside are all these little goodie bags. And I had to order these from a third party seller off of Amazon. So, let me get started. I'm not sure how much there way are in the way of instructions for this. Because all the painting instructions and the painting colors to use are actually listed right here in the back of the box. I mean, I'm not going to use these colors necessarily. But yeah, fun. So, one at a time, I'm gonna just get into these. Like I said, it's just gonna be doing this today. All right. Oh, okay, here's some more directions. I'm telling you what should be painted with color, which is kind of nice, I suppose. Um, and the directions also tell me what goes where, which is also nice. Now I have a little something I have planned. I, and it concerns this piece right here. I knew that this piece was gonna be included. I had seen it, um, but I've already decided that I'm not going to necessarily use this as it was intended in the kit design. Okay. Now, according to this, these instruction booklets, this is actually part of a 12 kit set. Um, if I ever get to doing the other kits in the set, and I will, you know, so be it. But for now, all right. And then I realize as I'm getting sitting down to do this that I did not get my tool for to cut these all out. Um, so I'm gonna do what I can. All right, starting. I have no idea how I'm gonna start this. Oh yes. Um, also, if you look closely, you can see that my table is pink. Don't judge me. So, I guess I'm going to start with this little guy, because 
I mean, they have it organized where everybody's stuff is together. So this is all for the little robot. This is all the guys. This is all the scenery, which, again, I am not going to do. So, first I'm going to... I should cut them out. That would be the ideal thing, but since I don't have my tool with me at the moment, I'm just going to... And these are very easy to remove. Off the sprue. You and the torso, which is like held on in two separate angles. It's not that hard. So. Looking at this easily, I can see four arms, two legs. And the two legs hook together. Well, they're going to hook together. Then I'm going to join up with this torso. I don't think the torso has anything else with it. So I'm looking at it properly. This is how it's supposed to go. Huh. So, since there is no time like the present, I'm only going to use a little bit because I don't need a lot. I don't want a lot of extra glue to spill out. It's going to take it not too long to set up. Now looking at how long this is taking, I might end up doing multiples videos or just do this one on camera and do the rest off camera. I haven't quite decided yet. This one right here, so that's what's to be sideways. Okay. And I'm seeing, I mean, there's a little bit of glue coming out. Um, what I'm going to do is sand it so that it doesn't really uh, leak out anymore. It should be good. Now, this has had a moment. So I'm just going to hold it in place. Until everything just sets. And then there's 
actually have to see. I've noticed with this kit, which I'm thinking is going to be an issue with a lot of these master box kits, is how exactly they all um, go together. Some kits, it's obvious how they go together. And other kits, not so much so. And this is the top one, so. Simultaneously, I'm sorry for the little bit of a cut, but um, I wanted him to. I finished kind of assembling him. Um, now I didn't put on. If you can see him in camera. I didn't put him on his uh, backpack. Uh, and give put the beer bottles in because I want to paint those first uh, before I get even started with anything else. So there's that. So as of right now, aside from a little trim work to get those uh, little nubs gone, he's all set. Same thing with now. I assembled. I started assembling him. This his companion, his human companion. Now I didn't attach parts of the vest, and I didn't connect the torso with the feet because this little nib is here and I have to trim that off. Um, and adding the flaps of the vest will make it impossible to paint or make it difficult to paint underneath. Not impossible. Nothing is impossible. So I didn't even apply it yet. Um, same thing with all his other little accessories. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to end the video there. Um, I'm going to assemble the rest of these models um, off camera. And the next time upload I do of this, I'm going to start painting. Um, how I'm going to paint it is I'm probably going to use enamels to paint them. Um, I have reasons for wanting to use enamels over acrylics. Um, but we'll see how things go. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe. Ring that bell icon to be notified when a new video drops. And hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like videos like this or anything else that you feel appropriate. All right, that being said, thanks for watching. Have a great day.